is Lacey, your Las Vegas gal, your Las Vegas bestie and relocation expert, bringing you once again, my monthly update video to tell you anything and everything that's going on in and around Las Vegas. Now, I say anything and everything, but I'm gonna preface this video by saying that I always leave some stuff off the list because I would be here for a year telling you all the things that you could be doing in my beautiful neon hometown because we always have something going on. There's never a dull moment, and that's why most of you like to move here. Now, we're gonna be talking about November, but before I do that, I wanna just remind you I am a relocation expert. So if you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, I wanna know about it, and I wanna know about it today. Click the link in the description or the pinned comment below, and we can start the conversation. It's never too early to call. Okay, of course, we're gonna kick off with local events because that's what I do. My goal is to make you a freaking local. So if you're thinking about being a local, pay attention because there's a lot of stuff that happens off the strip. If you're already a local, this list is for you. We're gonna kick off this month with, of course, First Friday that happens every single Friday. Friday, November 3rd, it's gonna be downtown at the Downtown Arts District. It's a really cool event where you can see local artists, local makers, food trucks, music, everybody has a good time, you should too. Charleston Heights Art Center is gonna be hosting Story Slam, which is gonna be on November 4th. Something cool, something a little bit theater-y, check it out. I'm a big theater nerd and I love anything that has to do with theater, art or poetry. The world's largest vegan festival is happening. This is their ninth year in operation. It's free entry if you wanna check it out and it's on November 4th. Location is still to be determined, so check their website for more details. Market in the Alley is one of my favorite events that happens every single month. It's similar to First Friday, but it's a little bit more artist and maker friendly and focused. They're doing two dates this month, November 5th at the Uncommons, which is in the Southwest side of town, and November 2nd at the Arts District downtown. You get to meet your favorite artists, and buy art and just support the local community, local small business community. It's one of my faves, you should definitely check it out. This year's 14th annual Holiday Craft and Gift Festival is gonna be happening November 3rd through 5th. That's gonna be at the World Market Center. And there's tons and tons of other events happening for locals all around town. So be sure to tune in and check out and also check Facebook events. That's a really fun place to look for stuff if you're trying to find something to do. November is a huge month for concerts when it comes to Vegas. I don't know what's going on around the rest of the world, but we are jam packed and I'm really, really excited about it. So this is a long list. You better buckle up for it right now. Okay, let's start with T-Mobile Arena. They've got Doja Cat happening on November 3rd. Enrique Iglesias, Pitbull, and Ricky Martin are doing the Trilogy Tour on November 24th. Brooklyn Bowl is a really awesome spot that you should check out. They have stuff happening almost every single night. This month they have Ivan Conejo on November 1st and 2nd, Fiddler and the Frights on November 4th, Eric Nam with Jamie Miller on November 10th, and We Came as Romans, the Dark Bloom 2 Tour. I don't know what that means, but they said they're gonna be hosting Amur, Body Snatcher, Archetypes Collide, and a couple of other bands. Blue October is also gonna be playing, as well as TV Girl. The Cosmopolitan's gonna have Hozier this month, which is pretty exciting. And the Virgin Theater has been stepping up their game when it comes to all things entertainment. So they're gonna be hosting Men I Trust, Chappelle Rowan, Vacations, one of my son's favorite bands, Liz Fair, Scott Bradley, Rawayana, Harper, and so many more. Check their website, there is a lot going on. U2, of course, is gonna be continuing their residency over at The Sphere. And don't forget that you don't have to see U2 in concert to enjoy The Sphere. They've got their immersive light show that's really amazing. So check their website for dates and go check it out. Area 15 is one of my favorite places to enjoy events and just go to to hang out with my friends. There's always something unique and really, really great concerts. Um, one of my favorite things that's happening this coming month that I will absolutely be attending, so come and say hi to me, is their Arcadia Music Festival. They're gonna be featuring DJs like Chromio, Elderbrook, who is my absolute favorite, Jai Wolf, the Glitch Mob and Troy Boy, along with a bunch of others. It's gonna be happening November 2nd through 5th, so check their website for the details. They're also gonna be having a couple of other events throughout the month. Felix Cartal, Nako, presented by the Reggae Rise Up team, and Signal Lounge, which is like the Church of Bass takeover. They've also got Closey, which I don't know personally, but I've heard is really good. House of Blues is also hosting some really fun stuff this month. They've got Nessa Barrett, Jims, and Fit for an Autopsy and Exodus. The Palms is also bringing the heat. I'm really excited actually about what The Palms has been doing lately. This month they've got Loverboy, Rafael Sadiq revisiting Tony, Tony, Tony for my 90s fans, my 90s friends, Aria Barbera, and quite a few others. Now the Smith Center for Performing Arts is one of my all time favorite places to just go and have a very different non vegas experience. They have a very full, very, very full entertainment calendar. So I like to comb through it and just pick some of the things that I think are the most interesting. This month, they're gonna be hosting Both Sides Now, the Joni Mitchell Songbook, starring Naomi Morrow, Frankie Moreno, who always puts on a great show, a Johnny Mathis Christmas, yes, I said Christmas, and it's November, Matteo Bocelli, and Tower of Power. Now that is only a small smidgen of a little bite of what they have going on, so be sure to go check out their website and see what they've got going. 
Something you may not know about Las Vegas is that we have a wide range of local casinos that are for us, the locals, that are all around town in the different hubs and different neighborhoods. Station Casinos, one of my favorites, probably because I used to work there. I don't know, I'm a little biased, but they are the largest in town. They host a lot of really great entertainment throughout the month. This month, they're gonna be hosting Phoenix at the Red Rock Casino. Andy Grammer is gonna be at GVR or Green Valley Ranch. Jake Shimabukuro is doing Christmas in Hawaii at GVR or Green Valley Ranch. And Empire Records is gonna be over at Sunset Station. Another local casino that we like to give a little love to is hosting an evening with Priscilla Presley also over at the South Point. So be sure to check that out. Now, when it comes to comedy, you know that I'm a big fan if you've been watching my channel for any time. Um, just know that I'm not mentioning everything when it comes to comedy as well, because Las Vegas has really expanded their comedy offerings over the last couple of years. So I'm just mentioning some of the faves. Again, just be sure to go online, Comedy Vegas. You'll probably find everything you need. But this month, I'm gonna talk about The Mirage, hosting Tim Allen. Wise Guys, one of my favorite small venues, which is located in downtown Vegas, is hosting Ron Fuches, Jeffrey Asmus, Jeff Akuru, and Melissa Villasenor. If you don't know who Melissa Villasenor is, she's actually from Saturday Night Live, so go and check her out. She puts on a really good show. The Palms is also gonna be hosting Tracy Morgan, and Park MGM is gonna be doing Bill Burr Live. I will be at that show. No, and that is it! An unforgettable finish! And for the first time in 21 years, the WNBA has a back-to-back -back champion. Now, when it comes to sports, we have to stop everything right now and talk about giving a huge congratulations to our WNBA champions once again, the Las Vegas Aces. Just a huge shout out to those guys. They survived momentum to win the 2023 WNBA championship, 70 to 69, baby, and they made history. They are the first reigning champions to complete a repeat since 2002. So take that, WNBA. Congratulations, Lady Aces. We're super excited that you're continuing to win and you're making us proud. Now, of course, the Raiders are gonna be back in season doing their thing over at Allegiant Stadium. This month, we've got a couple of games in town. They've got the Giants, the Jets, and the Chiefs. And if you're interested in seeing Allegiant Stadium but don't wanna to go to a Raiders game, the UNLV Rebels are kicking butt this season and they've been playing over there as well. If you wanna check those guys out, tickets are super cheap and they are right now playing against Wyoming this month and San Jose State. Of course, Vegas Golden Knights is happening on multiple dates. I try not to list them because it's too many to list. It's probably why I don't follow hockey very closely. It's a big commitment. And be sure that you don't miss the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame series that's happening over at T-Mobile Arena on November 6th. It's gonna be a two session double header. Be sure to check it out. And of course, the largest and most important sports thing that's happening to Vegas probably ever since the Raiders came, but maybe even bigger than that, is the F1 Formula One race. I know that a lot of people have been talking about F1. I know there's been a lot of like good news and bad news. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. The city has been turned upside down, so this thing better freaking be worth it. If you're coming into town for F1, please let me know. Comment below and let me know what your experience is like after the fact, and just keep me posted. I'm dying to see how this is gonna turn out for everybody, not only locals, but for visitors. If you're coming though, thank you for supporting this big move from a Las Vegas perspective and of course for being a fan of my city. I love F1 and I hope I still love F1 after this is done. We'll see. Last thing on the list, I wanted to mention some specific theater experiences. There's some really fun stuff that happens in Vegas as it relates to theater, and there's not a lot of people talking about it, so I thought I would add this as a new thing for my videos. So at the Smith Center for, for Performing Arts, of course, they're gonna be hosting a really cool event called Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is gonna be live in concert, watching the movie, playing it live while you're watching the movie, which is really cool. There's also gonna be an evening with David Sedaris with Q&A and some really cool stuff there. And the Luxor is gonna be hosting Ghost Files Live. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty nerdy. <laughs> Now the holidays are upon us, so be sure to stay tuned for extra special Holidays in Vegas video coming out in the next few weeks. I'm gonna cover all the things that you can do to celebrate the holidays in Vegas, whether you're a local or a visitor. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video, like this video, and comment below. Once again, I did not include everything. Las Vegas, I would I'd honestly be here for a year if I put everything that Las Vegas has to offer, but I'm super grateful that you watched the video. If you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, I definitely wanna know about it. So be sure to click the link in the description or the comment box below. Let me know when you're ready to talk. I would love to set up a call. It's never too early. I don't care if you're moving now or 10 years from now. I still want to be your friend starting today. Otherwise, I'm going to go start gearing up for this crazy month of events. I hope to see you at a few of them. And if you do see me, you better freaking say hi. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.